Alright, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Break. I'm Breezy, and let's get to it. So in the last episode, we um, finished, or started, uh, Route 3 and finished it off, and now we're going to head right into the entrance of Rock Tunnel, and let's get started. Now, right away, uh, as you can see in Rock Tunnel, um, there's limited uh, viewing space, so that's why I brought my Paris. Um, with flash, so uh, I can clip space. Now, it isn't um, required to have a uh, flash, uh, it helps. So, um, Paris is a good HM slave, as most people would call it. A person, uh, Pokemon to carry, I mean, HMs for you. And it can also want to cut, so uh, it's also a good HM to use. But I just gave it to my Paris. I mean, same slash for um, just for using it. And uh, we're gonna be using our bike. I'm using an item right here. It's so, over oh, that's always good to have. And of course, we have to fight this guy. Let's keep. Him. I forget who we have. I think it's Nathan, but it's all good. Pokemon fight, ready, go! Ooh, what in God's name is that guy dressed as? Looks like like a mix between like Charizard and a T Bone. I really don't know what kind of Pokemon that is. Go, Nathan. Go ahead and shoot your water gun. And, yeah. Don't call him is that like holy oh, crap that did a lot of damage for a crit. Let's hope that doesn't happen to us again. But uh, I guess one because we do a two shot it. And slowly poke. Uh oh. I think we leave Nathan here. I don't know if a slow poke. I can't remember if it has like a subtype psychic, but um, according to that, yeah it does. That's good, so it's a psychic call. But I believe it's only exclusive to Leaf Green and Off so if I wasn't having a Wood Pokemon, I'd go for Slowbro, but not really. Uh, I could bring kind of like Gold Duck. I, mean, I really like Gold Duck, it's not really all awesome Pokemon, but it doesn't matter. So let's get on towards the, um, this dungeon, yeah. yeah. Oh, these rocks. Now, if you have uh, the I move Rock Smash, which uh, you wouldn't be able to have this in the game, you find certain Pokemon here like Judy, Graveler, and whatnot, and I'm not pro option. I'd probably walk around the circles that much. But we have plenty of repels, so it's alright, so um, I believe that guy's required to. Yep, ah, uh, hold on. I believe there's a lot of required battles in this dungeon, but uh, who cares? It's all good. I remember playing as. Oh my god, another guy just like this. Creep me out. But I remember playing this uh, in this dungeon as a kid. It would take me forever to get out of this dungeon. Really, it did. And it would, it would get irritating too, so I would always get stuck on Pokemon Diet. I'm, and I always forget Flash because back I didn't know how where to get Flash at, so I would like, do it blind. And it was kind of not having Flash in the older games was worse than having that because you actually can see more in this game than back in the day. So and so this dungeon gave me some problems. And uh, should we switch guys? No, let's get to Jackson. Some action Jackson, action Jackson, that rhyme goes. I'm moving here. Revive. Yes, that can help us out for normal and not a required battle. I don't come here off the battle. Ooh, yeah, I just go into random dungeons and caves to pick up girls and whatnot, so yeah. I just don't come here often. We've got an oddish. So, should be no problem here, Jackson. Let's go for the gears, like. It's hoping it, like, oh my god, it was my too late. I'm in Pokemon. Yeah, I knew it was going to. It's going to take a little bit. Oh, missed the Sun's Core, so. Let's go all out and get the Mega Kick. Yes, I hit it. I love when Mega Kick is kind of on. Like, I remember playing this uh, like a while ago when I was younger. I would always miss the Mega Kick and a Bulbasaur. Where do you find a wild Bulbasaur at? Like, I don't want to know, so I need a Grass type for my team. I might, I don't know, but. I wouldn't mind catching a freaking Bulbasaur. Ooh, Jackson, look at your strength, that's amazing. And get a nice level up, that's awesome. And trying to Seismic Toss. Now, Seismic Toss is a move where it's based off of the users, I think. Yeah, the users level. So, stun point 6 and always 26 damage, and I prefer Karate Chop over Seismic Toss, so I'm just going to keep that. And alright. Oh, DG lost, man. Now, don't care often. Maybe you actually find people who would like you. Um, I skip this guy. Alright, it's good, it's good, good. Our pill wall. So, just get going. It would, um, and right when I say go, go. I believe we're, we're required to fight one of these guys. Um, 
much about this guy. Hit me with your best shot, and uh, why don't you hit me with your best shot? Right. I'm not the greatest singer, so I'll just stop. And there's a macho. Macho, the macho. I wish. Oh, that almost took it out. Oh, quite a touch for quite a shot, huh? I'm stronger, so I'm fierce way. Oh, so this will be a nice little two KO. Yeah. Um, what move, uh, Jackson? Don't bring this. I gotta look up. Later on, what kind of moves Jackson launch? I know he can like cross chop when he gets um, leveled up a bit. I don't really know really that strong of a fighting music like that, oh well. And a blind Onyx. I, I believe you can catch Onyx here too. I don't know if I mentioned that early, but yeah, you can definitely catch Onyx here. Um, I personally don't like Onyx, it's just really slow and like, not really good moves in this generation. Like, Onyx is good, but leveling up it's just terrible, but you're better off just like not using it if you want to use Onyx. I don't use it because I don't. Generally, I don't like using um, potions. Yes, uh, ground, rock types. They're generally not that good. Because uh, uh, ground types like Sahara, uh, I mean, Sand Slash, and when I are already good, but. And let's get to it. Okay. We're required to fight. I guess we'll just fight this guy. Oh, what? I didn't wait. I hate when they pan up. Like. They just insulted us of like thinking that you could pass, but you can't because they can't up. So yeah, that's I don't know what's all this. This guy is standard hiker. You're gonna find a lot of hikers in this place. Like they always have Jigus, Machos, Onyx, the occasional Graveler if you can find them. Which can bring a nice chunk of experience, so this guy is gonna Roll on down with this freaking ma Macho MCG dudes, because I think that's all this guy has me for. But, um, just trying to get some Jack and some experience, and. Do what you do. Like, nothing else changes with this guy. So, we're just going to spam Karate Chop, because there's nothing really else to do. And I get useless crits. But, yeah, um, oh, one more, and so Macho, so what's over? Macho, we got a throw 26. Now, if I can defeat this Macho, uh, we're going to do something special with uh, Jackson. And... Yes! Alright, so Jackson finally up to 27. It's amazing that he's our strongest Pokemon, I believe. That's the, the Hiker. So now, um, we're going to do something. And if you remember the rare candy that we picked up in Cerulean like, two part, a couple parts ago, we're going to use it on Jackson because I believe he evolves to level 28. Uh, and yes, he does. Alright then. Dun, dun, dun. I remember playing like in yellow version and whatnot. I always catch a Mankey, but I would never get a Primate because I, I always found that useless after the second gym. I just stopped using it. Alright, so we got a Primate. Now, Primate is one of the, is probably the fastest. Uh, Fighting type in this game and rage. Um, we'll st stop with the rage. Just don't find it all that important, but yeah. So we're just gonna put Sahara out front. And yeah. And, okay, on the skip rope, that could be useful if you ever need a new one out. Let's get that guy repel off real quick. And got plenty of things to use, and yeah. Anything up here? Nope, more rocks. Oh, I just—I don't think we have. To. I think this trainer is um. You can't skip, but oh well, I'll show it to you. And a jellybuff. I have seen one of these. One of these. These around this part of the woods. And ooh, that's a nice chunk. I guess we just go for a cut again. All right, Sahara. Our team's looking really good now, and um, we might be catching some new guys for the team in the next couple of parts. I don't know because uh, our team is still kind of there's only three three, people, three Pokemon strong. That's what I'm trying to say. So at this point, you should definitely try to catch the fourth member, um, and you would have to protect. But sorry, we can take that. Oh my God, the sand attack really irks my nerves. And, oh, 
come on, that's not cool. Finally, push my I'm gonna go first. The guy hit it. Um, let me out. Let's just jack and see how he did, like just how he looks and whatnot. Oh yeah, look at look at him. He looks, he looks bad ass. Just like Jack Rampage Jackson himself. I shouldn't even quit him, because it'll be funny with uh primate being uh Quinn. <laughs> uh, I might change it, I, I don't know, maybe. If you guys like the name Jack uh, Quinn on my the primate, let me know. Uh, I believe this guy's a move tutor. I'm gonna go with Rock Monster, let's can match Yay, this guy doesn't use rock slides, so yeah, I wanted to actually give this to one of my Pokemon. I'll give it to Sahara. Yeah, I'll give it to Sahara. Just, uh, I'll give her a defense curl. And then I'll give Jackson uh, Rock Tomb, because Rock Tomb's a really good TM to have on at least some Pokemon. I'm sorry if my voice, uh, Sunken Lozzy, I don't feel that well, but eh, it will. I feel better. I just gotta drink some wood or something. I'm gonna get rid of Fury Swipe. Oh, I should have got rid of. Poof! I love. I should have got rid of um, the air, but it's alright. And we learn Rock Tomb. Now, after teaching uh, both these guys some rock moves, I'm gonna end the video off right here. So, so I'll see you guys later. Oh, I guess I'll just end it at this uh, wild encounter. So, once again, I'll see you guys later and stay tuned for another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. I'll see you guys later.